friends. It is the vernal equinox of common year, you know, uh, 2013. I have been a long time fan of uh, changing the calendar, but I realize functionally that it's a, a fool's errand. I'm not really that interested in trying to get this worldwide committee to go and change all the months and all that stuff, you know, is I have this just personal tick that you know, we could make the calendar so much more efficient, get rid of all the bullshit superstition, get rid of uh, unnecessary holidays, which is almost all of them, all of them, <laughs> um, you know, but I realize that that is foolish. Rather than trying to change and shape the world in my own image, I'm going to shape my life and my organization the way I would like to see the world, and change will happen as is necessary. I hope my cat's not doing something dumb. Anyway, so in that vein, I prefer the new year to be at the vernal equinox. It's spring, it's where things start coming alive again. Yes, I understand different parts of the country, different parts of the world, the seasons are a bit different. In New England, they got a foot of snow yesterday. You know, in Chicago, it is just blisteringly cold right now. Here in Arizona, you know, I mean, it's been above 90 degrees for the last, you know, two weeks. Before that, it was still pretty damn cold in the mornings. So, you know, it's different everywhere. But the idea is that at the equinox, we are hitting that changeover where the days are starting to become longer. And it is the halfway point between the solstices. If there is any reason for a holiday other than a cultural celebration, uh, if there's any reason for a holiday, it is natural events. And the only natural events that make any sense to me, other than localized events, are the equinoxes and the solstices, because they mark the seasons, which are very important to us, especially agriculturally. Uh, and they also let us you know, mark the days where the days are longer, where the days are shorter. Uh, you know, it, it's a way for us to just put points of interest on the calendar for when interesting things happen in our world. And I'm not fond of religious holidays. I don't celebrate any religious holidays. I'm not fond of, uh, of national or patriotic holidays because I don't consider myself a, a patriot. I'm not interested in nationalities and borders and, and all of that. I'm interested in humanity. And while I recognize the functional practicality of some national structure, I don't really feel any attachment to the, you know, national culture of the United States or any other, you know, particular culture out there. there there's good and bad to all of them. Um, you know, borders are just invisible lines on a map, right? I mean, there are imaginary lines on a the map. They, they don't really exist. And we, we play this us versus them game, and I'm not particularly interested in that us versus them game. I'm just interested in the us game. Uh, it's impossible to live life totally inclusively. You are going to have to exclude people for the sake of your sanity, for the sake of productivity. It's going to happen. But the major point is to find the balance, to find the, the harmony within. You know, people talk about peace, they, they talk about, you know, just this kind of, this joyous, loving, hippie shit. 
And I tell you now that peace is not something I'm particularly interested in. Peace is just not war. And I, I'm not a fan of war. I, I, I don't promote war. Uh, the, the, the political agenda and everything is all rather dubious. But I don't deny chaos. I actually support chaos. I believe chaos is as fundamental of a part of our nature as order is. And I believe that finding the balance between order and chaos, finding the harmony between order and chaos, is far more important than finding this everlasting peace. Peace doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, but harmony does. Being able to ebb and flow, being able to balance. Uh, it, it seems far more productive and far more important. Um, so with that I say to you, Happy Equinox. Happy first of my New Year. Happy first of the Black Sun Renaissance New Year. For shorthand, you can call it BSR1. The, the club, you know, my fight club, my, you know, the fitness club has been around for a little over a year now for functional practical purposes though we will call this BSR1 Black Sun Renaissance year one we have completed one full cycle as a, as a, a, a small club I'm looking forward to this journey with you and I hope that this year this you know this time next year I hope at the equinox next year that you find that your life is a little more harmonious between chaos and order. I hope that you find good fortune in the, the coming year. The economy's been bad. It's been bad globally, but I hope that you personally, in your life and in the lives of your loved ones, uh, will be able to break free of that restraint and that you will find some fortune there, even if it's not monetary. And as always, I wish wisdom upon you. Wisdom is the difference between having knowledge and having experience. Wisdom is kind of what lets you meet out knowledge and experience and allows you to apply. Wisdom is really just applied knowledge. It doesn't take an encyclopedic knowledge of anything. It simply takes observation and analysis and decision making. And I think that is far more important than having an encyclopedic knowledge of you know a million and one ways to you know to fix this, to put together that, to lift this, to, to punch that way. That's great, but you know, do you have the wisdom to be able to use those skills when you need them? So once again I say to you, happy equinox. Happy first of the year. And I wish upon you wisdom, harmony, and fortune. Good journey.